Steve. What are you doing here? <sighs> Tim said he'd rush you into hospital. Me? No, no, um, we rush Leanne in. I'm just here for moral support. Oh, well, that's all right then. Thanks. No, I didn't. You all right? You don't know yet. Don't go asking her what's wrong. Who on. It's personal. Yeah, sure. Tell you what you could do, though, while you're here. What? You could run Simon home. Yeah, no problem. Are you sure there's nothing I can do? Well, I'll stay with her. She'll be fine. Mrs. Mackenzie. Just take a seat. We'll give you a shout when we're ready for you. Right, thanks. Uh, they want me to have a scan, so why don't you get yourself off? I'll be fine. No, I'll wait with you. Well, it could be ages yet. Well, good. Get me out of a shift. Let Steve pick up some of the slack. I had a miscarriage a few years ago. That doesn't mean you'll have another one. Plus, I already have. to, unless we get a last-minute deal. It all depends on this, really. So come on, then. What? Well, as far as I know, you're single. Yeah, I am single. Sorry, I'm, I don't want to pry. Well, it was unplanned, obviously. Anyone want to know? No. Not Nick, then? No. Robert? What do you think I am, a pincushion? Sorry. Well, you and Nick seem close again. It was a one-night stand. Friend of a friend. We had one too many and I ended up back at his. So have you told him? Uh, no. Are you going to? I don't know. What was his name? Scott. Nice. It's embarrassing. Oh, don't be daft. Come on, we've all been there. Just bad luck you wound up getting pregnant. Or good luck. You mean you don't seem to want it. Well, I wish the circumstances were different, obviously, but I've always wanted a baby of my own. More than one, if I'm honest. Well, still time. Yeah, maybe. You know Simon's old enough to help out. Well, he's old enough to tell you that I'm pregnant. Mm. They're all tacked down. <laughs> Aren't they just? Well, at least you're the right age for it. <sighs> and I was just a kid myself when Ryan was born. Well, sometimes I think that's better. Less you know. Oh, well, me and Dean were clueless. You just get on with it, don't you? I mean, we had me mum and dad and my brothers mucked in. Our Paul was great. He used to babysit with Carla when they first got together. Yeah, I loved it when Ryan was a baby. It's like having your own little reason to exist. Never went anywhere without him. I'm lucky if I get a phone call once a fortnight. <laughs> Leanne Battersby? Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> 